2023 offensive lineman Zachariah Owens Flapjack is once again back with the Clemson Tigers. He has recommitted to the Clemson Tigers. Houston, you know, we just did a video just yesterday where we talked about the fact that he had decommitted a, a week ago and there was, you know, a lot of questions about what would happen, how would Clemson handle it, and then also the fact that he visited Florida State and now wanted back in the fold with Clemson. Considering the fact, now at the time, speaking of yesterday, at the time, it seems like we were both thinking this was going to be a longer process. But here we are a day later. He made his visit on Saturday. He thought it over on Sunday. He made it public on Monday. And here we are Tuesday. And he's back in the mix, back committed to the Tigers. Was that a surprise to you that it happened a lot faster than I predicted or I think even you? Well, I think when you initially see, uh, you know, if you, if you hadn't have read certain things this morning or, or kind of been – uh, keeping up with the situation and kind of know how Clemson recruits. If you just read headlines, yeah, it is surprising. Um, you know, when a, a commit decommits from Clemson, generally it's severed ties and and it's, hey, buddy, you know, have have a great lifetime. You know, that's kind of how it is. I I can't make any assumptions. I can't speak to any situations. Um, I can't I can't make this my information. This is just kind of what I've heard rumor wise so this is not me this is just kind of scuttlebutt that i've heard um you know it seems like there was some some pressure coming from a family uh within the family i don't know if it was from his parents one parent two parents whatever someone within the family had had been uh really kind of stirring things up and um he wanted to, to do this for them uh and i think he wanted to show that he wanted to go to clemson um and so it sounds to me like uh coaching staff was aware of that they were ahead of this. They kind of knew this was coming down the pipeline. And and I think that was somewhat a situation back in 16 that they faced with Shaq Smith, I believe. I'm, I might be way off on that. I, I, haven't, I haven't been as well attuned with knowing the stories behind all these recruits for every, every one of these classes, but um, it was something similar of that vein. So it sounds to me like, uh, you know, he was doing this uh, for his family to at least do the visit and coaching staff was aware of it. And if they're aware of it and they knew they were going to do it and he's doing it the right way, then they'll bring him back. You know, Clemson always talks about having open and honest communication. That's what their philosophy is in the recruiting trail. It does seem like Owens reciprocated that appropriately throughout this process. And even this kind of weird turn of events, people on the outside looking in had all kinds of emotions as typical fans do anger, frustration, you know, confusion, uh, some people were excited about it. Some people were okay with it. I think you and I both leaned on the the side of just it is what it is, and let the let the young man make his decision and um, understand the process is the pro what the process is. And you know, again, we both thought that it probably would take a little bit longer than this, but that kind of actually points to the fact, as you mentioned, that there must have been open lines of communication from the start if the coaches knew what was going on and he was completely transparent through the process, not only with the coaches, but his fellow recruiting class members, which it also seems to be the case that his recruiting class that he's coming with, he was open and honest with them too. Um, I think it shows the character of the young man. He wants to make sure that his, um, you know, he gives his family the respect, which you want, you want to, you know, a young man to respect his family and, and uh, hear them out, not just ignore counsel around him, but you also want a young man to do what they feel like is best for them too, which is hard to do when you're like 17 years old. I made a joke on Twitter when I reposted his post that, you know, when I was 15, I thought everybody that was 20 knew what they were talking about. And when I was 20, I realized nobody at 20 knew what they were talking about. But I thought, you know, people that were out of college, people that are 25 and 30 knew what they were talking about. Now that I'm 35, I realize none of us know what we're doing or what we're talking about. We're just making it up as we go. We try to do the best we can with the information we have. Sometimes we make mistakes. Actually, a lot of a lot of times we make mistakes. I think I make more mistakes in one day uh, than I would wish I, than I wish. But it just that's the way life is. 
So, so I think, again, we don't beat up Zachariah Owens for this situation at all. It really is kind of life figuring it out, you know? Um, so here's what he posted on Twitter. He said, and this was, um, 3 9 PM on Twitter. It feels great to be back. Can't wait to be home in January. Hashtag all in and a tiger emoji. He also posted an image that says, after a long time of thinking, praying, and reconsidering my family, I have decided that I will stay and continue to be committed to Clemson University. I want to thank the Clemson coaching staff and my fellow teammates for sticking beside me through this. And also, I want to thank everyone for reaching out to my family and I through this process. But with that being said, I'm 1000% all in. Hashtag go Tigers. Tiger emoji. Again, you hear things in there. He thought about it. He took time. He involved his family. He prayed about it. He talked to the coaches. He talked to his teammates about it, future teammates about it, and he made his decision. I think that's what you want, right, at the end of the day. Yeah. I mean, my point about this is this is reason 7,005,999 to not tweet at recruits. You don't know what's going on. (laughs) Uh, you don't know what the situation is. You don't know if they're going to rec- recommit, decommit, go to another school. It's just better to let this play out. You know, it's one thing. It's one thing if it's you know uh, athlete to athlete or whatever. If they're you know if they're rivals or whatever, that that's kind of what fuels Twitter and makes it fun. But when you're an adult or someone outside of the realm of college football or college athletics as a whole, it's best to just let it play out. Be a normal person. Uh, observe and don't say anything just let it be uh i know that's not a real posh thing to do on social media <laughs> but uh sometimes nah. it's better to just let things play out and, and see how it goes uh 92 uh 0.9251 overall on 24 7 sports composite uh 18th best offensive tackle in the nation again six seven 365 pounds and recommitted to clemson that puts Clemson back at the, I want to say, 20 overall commitments for 2023. That also puts them back from ninth overall to eighth overall. When you look at the overall rankings, you have Alabama 1, Georgia 2, Notre Dame 3, Oklahoma 4, Ohio State 5, Texas 6, LSU 7, and again now Clemson eight swapping with Florida at nine. So Clemson moves up a spot. I'll have to update the Twitter sheet and we'll have to go from there because this weekend, there's a lot of big time recruits planning on coming in and there's a couple of more open spots. Clemson's still looking for a running back, a cornerback, maybe possibly another offensive lineman, definitely another defensive lineman in the mix as well. So there's still openings out there, Houston. I'm excited for it. I know you are. Hey, don't forget to hit the like button on this video and leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Are you glad to have Zachariah Flapjack Owens back? I I hope you are. I really do. Um, Anybody who wants to put on the orange uniform of the Clemson Tigers, you have to uh, appreciate as a fan. So, Don't forget to like the video and subscribe on YouTube.